Hello everyone, I'm pleased to unveil the new social network that we are working on. Of course, it is completely decentralized, fully peer-to-peer, and end-to-end encrypted using the technology that we've built over the last three and a half years. For developers out there, that technology is currently ranked number two in blockchain on GitHub by over 7,800 other developers. So if you're a developer, go check that tech out. Uh, We'd like to get you into the community and starting to build this type of technologies. Now, back to the social network and the prototype that I'm trying to demo and showcase here. So, first of all, if we want to overthrow and dethrone other existing social networks, Facebook, Twitter, etc., we have to make sure that the experience is better than those social networks. So that's why we're trying to add in some gamification mechanics that as you interact with the site, you have these really interesting and fun, delightful experiences. Sure, you might go to type in your username and get a bunch of sparkles. Maybe that's annoying, maybe that's not, but it certainly creates an experience that we hope will be engaging with users. Now, what is different, what is unique about this system? So first of all, compared to other social networks, even decentralized social networks like Mastodon, but especially things like Google and Facebook and Twitter, is that the identity that you create, the account that you create, is created locally. It's not created on some server. Even with Mastodon, your identity belongs to some federated server. And personally, I just think that's dangerous because at some point, like what happened with email, everybody eventually uses the best, quote, federated service, which is Gmail. And now Google has access to all of your emails and can spy on you and and all the, the sort of stuff that people have been complaining about this last week with the Facebook scandal. So your identity is created locally. It belongs only to you and only you are able to access it. However, you are still able to access it via a normal username and passphrase. How is that possible? Well, we generate separately a cryptographically secure public-private key pair, and then we take a username and passphrase, and we take that passphrase and we do proof of work on it. We do a hashing algorithm called PBKDF2. If you want to learn more about how this works, check out the cryptographic section where we explain the algorithms behind it. It takes your password, it combines it with the salt, and it extends it. So that way, if other people are trying to log into your account, they're literally going to have to sit there uh, doing Bitcoin-like work for a long time in order to uh, just guess what your password might be. And then we take that proof of work from the password and the salt that's been combined together and use that to unlock your private key pair. Now, enough of the technicalities. Let's get back to some of the other features of the system. So there's a lot of work ahead. We need to make it such that you can actually come in here, change the settings and connect to other peers, ones that aren't just hard coded into the system. We need to make it that when you download the system, it automatically connects to every other peer. And we need to build out a lot of the actual user experience. The technology for this exists is just about hooking it up to an interface and making those experiences amazing for all the new users coming on board. So um, there's one last, you've seen a lot of overt effects in here, like typing and uh, the sparkles that happen. And But there is also a subtle effect that's going on that I find is kind of just a nice touch to the website. That's the Easter egg of the video. Let me know if you figured it out and I'll give you points in the chat room. Elsewise, hopefully this is just a beginning look of what we're building and a future sneak peek of what the future of social networking looks like. Thanks so much. I'll see you there in the future today.